Hi, it's Andrea here from Halton Food. Uh, today I'm at Guyana Say Greenhouse here to talk to them about the work that they do. Well, hello, it's <clears throat> Guyana. My name is Gerdo Deer. I am the cultural coordinator for OSTTC Longhouse. I also work in partnership with Guyana Say, the ecological restoration company. This is the Guyana Say Greenhouse where we grow native uh, trees, shrubs, herbaceous plants, and grasses. Okay, so another one of my favorite species is actually the swamp milkweed. And you can see the flowers are developing here. It's actually almost in full bloom. And this is very attractive to all sorts of pollinators. Milkweeds we, we, we like to associate with monarch butterflies, which is uh, an important relationship um, and an added, added benefit. But the flowers themselves are attractive to a whole host of pollinators. Uh, one that we've just seen recently is a, a wasp. Um, so wasps we don't generally think of as, as pollinators. They're not as, as they don't play as huge a role in pollinating as bees do. But they, they do come to these flowers for uh, nectar and a little shot of um, energy and sugar. Um, so we've seen uh, wasps such as the uh, <clears throat> the southern uh, paper wasp. We've seen um, uh, the golden digger wasp, which is a massive wasp that um, uh, is actually a, a, a parasite. It's parasitic, so it'll sting like a grasshopper, it'll bury it in a, a little tunnel and it'll lay an egg in it. And uh, so yeah, the, the wasps are really important for controlling pests and, and uh, um, being predators of, of other insects. And, and that's important for us as growers. Um, so yeah, the, uh, the milkweeds are very attractive to all, a great variety of, of pollinators. And they're also important, like I said, for the monarch butterflies. Okay, so this, this here is a native variety of strawberry, wild strawberry. Uh, Fragaria virginiana is the Latin name. And so um, when we're identifying wild strawberries, if we look at the um, terminal of the leaf, the terminal, terminal tooth, it's shorter than the two lateral teeth. And it's a really good indicator that we're looking at Fragaria virginiana. And the other thing we're looking for is the developing fruit or flowers are under the leaves most of the time. And that's another indicator um, of uh, Fragaria virginiana or, or uh, the native um, wild strawberry. Um, and another indicator is the actual fruit, the strawberry themselves, the seeds are indented into the flesh. And so those are the indicators that we use to identify the native variety of um, wild strawberry or Fragaria virginiana. Culturally, this is a very important plant. We actually have a, a whole ceremony just for this plant uh, in our community. And uh, because it's one of the, the really sweet um, fruits and it's nice and juicy and uh, it's a nice uh, medicine for, for the early summer for our bodies to take in. And um, then when they're collected and they're frozen, nowadays they're frozen, they used to be dried historically and, and put away uh, for the winter and, and for the fall. But uh, yeah, this is another really important native species for pollinators and, and uh, native plants. And it's also used as a medicine here in the community as well.